Welcome to Game Does Play Games, the show where we play games and talk game design. Because we're awesome. Woo! And we are back at playing Banner Saga 2 Preview. I suppose we didn't really talk about what preview meant in the last episode, but presumably um, it just means that this could change a little bit by yeah. the time it's in full release. Not necessarily the final product. Honestly, I'd be shocked Probably if it though. changes very much at this point. Because How would they do that? I know, it would be a lot of work at the very last minute. So if anything, I imagine it, if we encounter any bugs, um, that's probably what really would be changed. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's jump into it. So last we left off, yep. Rook just bloodthirsty charged into here and he's going to get himself dead. Yeah, he's gonna pull a loot in here. He did just like straight up murder that that just like he just like two shotted a big guy by himself. Like one of the big dudes with the shields too, no less. Like he at least has thirteen health and then twenty to twenty one oh, defense. Yeah, that's this is great. So look at that. Oh yeah, that whole one. I'm just doing. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. How? Oh wow, wow he has he no. Can, he has a version of three. Yeah, but now he has zero willpower, so you Whatever. can't. Ex <laughs> I don't need. Also. Find it funny that we're not necessarily in pillage mode. Well, technically, they would be in pillage mode, right? Well, everybody would be. It's true. Oh, it is that guy. Oh, I'm screwed. But they would just like it's that guy. Oh, they Rick. designed it where I couldn't run away. You guys suck. Oh, you mean like like move look, backward? Look, yeah, I can't move back because he'll go <laughs> next, and then after that, this guy's gonna go next. So I can't oh, even run. Actually, wait, there's no. nowhere to go. Well, I, I guess can, I can do this. Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, because that guy's gonna do it. I mean, I'm not gonna damage. win this fight, so it doesn't. Oh, man. Well, wait. What if you could? Probably not. But what if you could? Okay, as long as this guy don't. don't go. Yeah, go up. So how yeah. Do you, how do you think this will go? Ah. Do you think that Rook is going to run his health out because obviously he's only two health left? Oh um, yeah. I'm and then like die this hit. You're party is going to like come in here and be like no Rick well, oh there you go uh, I know <laughs> <laughs> no uh, there we go there they are hey. the final blow directed to your head is deflected and giant horns slam into the dredge surrounding you Ivor pulls you to your feet and away from combat as other fighters from your caravan rush in to finish off the enemy very nice hey our caravan's actually helping us <laughs> I removes you past the crowd of worried villagers, ensuring you can stand on your own. I don't know what you were. He stops speaking as the village chieftain approaches. Oh, that's who this guy is. Of our lady, leader saving a human village from da da da. Those things legends are made from much less. Novaro leader, just Ivor. <laughs> Those things were dredge, <laughs> like the stories you probably heard as a kid. And it was Rook who ordered us to stop. Forgive me. Maybe it's this never setting sun or dredge or the deaths of so many of my clansmen. I'm not myself. Well, well we just met you, so. Man's eyes appraise you as he quickly nods. I'm Aleo? Aleo? Let's go with Aleo. That sounds better than Aleo. Aleo? Yeah, I guess so. Aleo. Uh, the Scald. Aleo the Scald. Ooh, I like oh, that. Oh, yeah, because I was. Wondering with the loot on his back, Ooh. or not loot, but what's a, is little, that like a heart. scald? Is, is scald? A scald is a um, is a uh, Norse um, musical storyteller. It's like a bard, <laughs> like a bard but, but Norse. more of a more of a storyteller. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Were you trying to drive the dredge all the way back north yourself? Psh, duh. Um, okay, so we're still acting as Rook, which is kind of nice. This is the first choice we get to make as him again. Yeah, it's true. Well, I say he's bloodthirsty, so we push that forward and keep going with it, right? Should we stop there? Or we, we should get ready to leave? Uh, I don't know. Well, I we stop there. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going like Pragmatist playthrough from Bastard Saga playthrough, so now we, we've got a lot of conflicted <laughs> styles. Something terrible must have happened to have such hatred for them. <laughs> a topic for another time, Scald, maybe. That's a good call. Of course. <laughs> Mind if I ask of news from Boersgard? Boersgard, Boersgard. Yeah. We heard rumor the Sunder Bellower was laying waste to the town. <laughs> to lay to, <laughs> to waste in a town. More than a rumor, but he's been dealt with. <laughs> by, your, by your clan? Your Sunder Slayers? Hey, wrestler. Yeah, I guess. I mean, no big deal. The term makes Ivor wince and ends in Ilya's excitement. Ooh. Only at the sacrifice of my daughter. No big deal. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, what about the deep shaking in the ground? Only yesterday we felt a rumble like none before. They only felt it yesterday? So is this like literally just like the next day or is it well, no, just reaching their because territory? Are, is the rumbling in reference to the serpent? Yes. See, but when we were en route to that harbor town, we stayed in that harbor town for weeks or at least you a can, week. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about with the uh, Bellower? Yeah, because you, you stayed defending well, the wall for... Well, before that, though. Right. So my point is is that more than a week has passed since we first saw the serpent. So that means the serpent has been moving since then. Yeah. And he's seen it recent, or at least felt it recently. Yeah. Really. That's that's what so I'm deducing. So it's just reaching where they're at. Um, you think we have all the answers? Could be the giant serpent. I think we'll just get... Yeah, it could be the giant serpent. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> who knows? The serpent in the sun, Radomir. 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 I'm no holy man, but joking about dead gods feels wrong. Okay, so he's a god. He's actually a god. Well, this is the serpent of the sun he's referring to, but mm. the serpent we know might not be that serpent. Oh, oh about as opposite of Radomir as it gets. This one's determined to swallow us all. Uh. Yeah. The skull looks skeptical. <laughs> Killing a sunder is a big big enough tale on its own for now. <laughs> <laughs> then let's get ready to leave. Not to sound ungrateful, but this place, it's all we have. It's our home. Oh, you got to get over that. <laughs> home is a thing of the past, buddy. Uh, we never should have stopped. Not quietly. Don't be stupid. More drudge are coming. I mean, are we just like... Do we just not give a fuck anymore? The one thing we cared about most is gone. I think so. Let's go cynical with it. Uh, on top of that, this is kind of how I played through when I was like, "That's fair." Well, that's that's how you pick up um, uh, what is it? Uh, Hugin and Moon or uh, Hogan, Hogan and Mugen? Mugen? Yeah. Hugin Mugen. Well, they're based off of thought and memory. Hugin and Mugen. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> but that's how you get them. Is basically they're like, "Oh, do you want to stop?" And you're like, "No, with the dredger coming. Come on." Yeah. Want to defend what's yours? Isn't stupid. You know that. Oh, this is Rook. Yeah. I know this village lost fighters today, so they only have a, less of a chance of defending themselves tomorrow. Rook is right. I hoped their defeat here today would keep the dredge away, but when voiced... Scott looks around at the small huts of this village. Beauregard is <laughs> the only other place I've seen in my life. This small village is all my family knows. <gasps> Are things really as tragic as you're making them sound? You're so naive. Okay. Oh, you sweet summer Probably child. Probably <laughs> worse. <laughs> I love Ivor. <laughs> Ilya looks back. Back and forth between nodding. Packing and tending to our dead will take some time, but I'll have everyone on the ship soon. So are we going across the sea? Is that what's going Maybe. On? He heads off to the village to organize the place. Yeah, I really had no sense of where the... The human uh, capital was. Ivor, one of the giants known as as Varl, has fought the dredge in the Northern Winters, personally killed the Sunder uh, Raze, or Raze, mm, probably Raze, and lost an arm to the Sunder Bellower. Man. Yeah. He has been by your side through everything, including the death of your daughter. Now you feel the weight of his full attention. Ooh. Ooh. What are you pulled out there, fighting the dredge alone? Was that tied to, uh, to a lead at all? <laughs> Ooh, they'll pay for taking her from me don't mention her name oh my god Ooh. I'm trying my best to hold it all together the villagers could probably use your strength oh. <laughs> so like cave in admit that there's some weakness well, the villagers could probably use your strength as dismissive it's, it's totally ignoring the fact that Ivor's asking you a question and saying you have better things to worry about it's true which one I'm uh, kind of for that one okay okay like, this is not something that's going to be solved overnight. Listen, I don't know what's in your head right now, but dying won't bring your daughter back. Don't you, John, look away. Nice. Oh. Those people need, need you now more than they know. Their lives depend on your decisions. He walks toward the village, leaving you alone with your thoughts. Dang, Ivor, just... The weight of his words, no less than his stare. His there is attention. one arm with Ooh. all the willpower in the world while... I mean, the animations were beautiful in the last game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, and the reflection in the water. Mmm. I like the decoration on the tree, too. The, like, 
strings with the little like dangly ribbons. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I don't know why I'm focusing on that. I was lost that. in uh, <laughs> oh, chapter eight. So it's continuing <clears throat> from before. From nice. Yep. I mean, that's appropriate, right? It's, it is a story. Yep, and back to supplies and stuff. Ooh, look at these numbers, though. Yeah, no oh, joke. Yeah. I saw 597 clansmen. I'm like, yeah. And we start uh, off with 21 renown. Oh. Mm, which Ubin. some of that we earned, but. The traveling merchants are surprisingly well stocked, Ubin, the old Varl's uh, dubbed Scrivener, says. Since Boros Guard, our numbers have grown. People have scavenged for food and eaten it, too. Regardless, we'll need plenty of supplies considering our destination. We have one day of supplies. <laughs> awesome. No, no, that's day one. We have nine supplies. Oh, nine days of supplies. Um, yeah, I think that is good. nine days. You know. <laughs> uh, where can I find the merchants? What kind of supplies? Thanks, Ubin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's, yeah, 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 let's, let's talk to the merchants. Well, I mean, where the merchants are is probably where the supplies <laughs> you are. You can't miss them, he says. A group of tents they call the market. Um, what kind oh, of supplies? Oh, tutorial? Is it, it, it is, basic? it's basically tutorial masked as, like, a dialogue, which is, I, I personally Clever. am a fan of yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Ivan. We got it. Of course, he says. Oh, almost forgot. There's something ruffling the feathers of the ravens. The mercenaries who followed us from Boersgard chat with their leader, Bolverk. I don't want to do that. But be careful. He's not like other Varl. No joke. No joke, he's not like other Varl. Yeah, well, if you didn't remember from the last game, at least. <sighs> this medallion gives you the information about your caravan, including population, supplies, renown, and the number of days that have passed. So, only one day so far. God. The banner indicates that you have enough supplies and provisions for your caravan for nine of the resting... Nine of... Resting of or travel. Oh, days of, of resting, resting or travel. Or travel. Mm -hmm. A larger population requires more supplies per day to survive. Makes sense. You can acquire them at this market. Tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. I think they're going to make us click on it. Hmm. Ooh. Five oh, options. Full wi foul wind crake. What is that like a weird bird hatching out of egg? Thing mutant. It just told us that we need twelve days of supplies to survive the the next destination. That's is it is it actually going to make us? Du, 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 du. Oh, it, and it actually gives you a real translation on this screen. It didn't oh. before. Oh, that is actually really nice. You can add fifteen or more supplies to your caravan. The area left will show the supplies of your caravan. So if we do this, okay, it's buying like five at a time, but it's letting us know. Okay. okay, now that you've added your supplies, you must confirm the change by pressing the button. All right. Cool. Markets have items available. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which, if you're really clever, you could get some of the best items of the game in the market. Oh, yeah. It was just, you had to be able to save up your renown long enough to, like, and find the right where market. And carrying over your data from the previous game is probably really useful. Ooh, I would guess. Do you think that you keep some of these artifacts? I would, I mean, I would hope, but then again, oh, look. Oh, Wait. I feel like if you keep too many of the artifacts, though, from the previous game, it might break it. It might make it too easy. If you played the first Banner Saga, you will notice a key difference here. What level is that item? Six. Oh, man. You can go above five. So then, I can we actually go to our heroes? I want to see what our heroes' levels are. Plus two arm talent ranks. Ranged. Oh, oh, you can actually increase your range Ooh. distance now. Break talent ranks. Okay, so they're calling them talent ranks now. 30%. Wait. 30% 30 30 chance, chance to, to do double strength damage. That's cool. So there is a little bit more random chance now. Yeah, yeah. Before there was very few items that did it. And it was like, I, I love the dodge items, but they just weren't like very. Uh, let's, let's go to odd first. <laughs> uh, can we look at our heroes? Oh, yeah. Uh, Maybe we can't yet. Um. That's a really good question. Oh, well, uh, uh, no, no, I think that's, that's just going to consume yeah. supplies. So let's actually save talking to them for the next episode. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I, for the question of the day, I feel like there's a couple of things we could talk about, but I kind of want to ask about, um, uh, I guess, things that should and shouldn't be carried over from previous playthrough. So, like... Yeah. I, I have my concern about carrying over artifacts or, like, equipment from the last mm -hmm. playthrough. But it does seem like we probably are carrying over our levels, at least, um, or at least, like, defaulting our levels to something, right? Because we already have items at level 6. 
it'll take a very long time. It, it's true. And, and it might not make sense for us to be at level one since this is a continuation. That right? is one thing that got me about certain games was going like you would play. Like, I think, uh, not maybe, no, probably not Golden Sun, but like other games like mm -hmm. that, that would do it where you just start over playing the same character, but they're level one for some reason. Yeah, yeah. It, God of War, like you always lost all of your and powers. Even, the even like the Mass one. Effect threw me for a loop with that one too, yeah. where they totally, they even changed the, the mechanics of the game. So that's a whole so, other discussion. I guess in this case, <laughs> the, I, to go along with all of that, yeah, for, for Banner Saga 2, how do you feel about uh, information being traveled over from the previous game? What do you hope? transfers over and what would you rather uh just default back to like a normal mm -hmm. whatever the game decides it to be cool well yeah. share your your thoughts in the comment section below and otherwise be sure to vote if you want us to keep playing banner saga 2 and then vote on anything else you want us to play yeah and, uh subscribe <laughs> yeah do that thing this helps <laughs> it helps big time really all right guys thanks Next for time. watching bye bye